Go back to Hyper Special Super Awesome Remote. Why is it called that? Well, today I can't edit any videos for all... It's, it's a long story. Let's not worry about it. So basically, we've got to focus on being as productive and as efficient and entertaining in one take as possible. No pressure on me at all. What have I done? I've installed Industrialization and Glitter Tech since last episode. Two very, very overpowered mods aimed at the middle game in terms of industry and at the very, very light game with uh, Glitter Tech there. Which basically add a lot of ridiculous, kind of unbalanced, kind of broken stuff. So, for example, industrialization adds a deep drill, which can grant you infinite resources, but is much, much slower than mining them out of the map manually. However, you don't have to move around trying to find them or anything like that. So, that's sort of more or less what we're looking for at this stage. Could sort of like the quarry mod, but a bit more for the mid-game and a bit more broken. And then we've also got Glitter Tech, which adds shit like Dark Matter, it adds shit like Titanium, very, very OP endgame weapons, armors, materials, workstations, that type of thing. Maybe I can find some in the research tab. Um, let's see. Um, you, you definitely notice it whenever I see them. Uh... Atomic assembly? There we go. That's one of them. Robotic engineering, atomic disassembly, electrolysis, that type of thing unlocks, um... Alpha Poly, which is one of the most overpowered things in the game. It essentially allows you to create indestructible stuff. Anyway, long story. Why have I done this? Well, I figured this series is actually not going to last very long. Not because I don't want it to, but because they announced that RimWorld is going into uh, full release in like three days' time. Which is a shame, because it means we're going to have to cancel the series, because obviously it's going to update, all the mods are going to break, more importantly, that's sort of the main thing, all these mods are going to be updated and broken. Whether or not they'll keep the legacy versions around, I'm not sure, but they definitely won't, not all of the mods will be kept around. So we're sort of against the clock here, so I don't mind a bit more uh, broken OP shit, as this isn't going to be around too long. Are we going to carry on remold after the update comes out? Probably. Actually, I, I think we might, because I quite like this game, and I feel like it's got a permanent place on the channel. I need to get a bit more practice with it. Obviously, doing commentary on a game like this is a lot different to a game like CK2, but we will get there eventually. And hopefully, it's not that bad anyway. Alright, so, uh, what's the plan? Well, let's make these walls three blocks thick, and then we'll try and find ourselves a way to set up a deep drill. Which is one of the things added by industrialization, which was very, very broken and very, very OP. That would allow us to expand a lot quicker and achieve our arena goals. I at least want one person to die in the name of Jerry King in this arena before this series is up. Mark my words. And that's what we're going to do. Production. Um, so it's added something called an electric arc furnace. And there is the deep mine itself. Um, fortunately, we do need a deep drill hole to actually, you know, be able to place this and extract resources. How do we do that? Well, occasionally a trading vessel will come overhead. Oh, God. Um, we've got manhunted deer. Okay, well, let's not worry about them. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I forgot. They're, they're on a caravan adventure, aren't they? Oh, God, my mistake. Oh, they must have arrived at the target then, because this, if you remember, was um, part of the mission that there would be manhunters around. There is a boom light right there, so I'm not a fan of that. What was I saying? I don't remember what I'm saying. Anyway, it's not important. Look. Oh, yeah, I remember. To get the deep drill, we need to actually get in contact with a drilling company, basically, and have them drill a borehole from space. It's kind of expensive, but, you know, assuming we can gather and sell enough stuff, then we should be okay. Oh, Bobby, be careful. All right, we're fine. Okay, let's go ahead and save this prisoner here. Who is this person? Spears. I don't think they had any relation to us, did they? Um, they're not too bad. Psychically deaf, which is a uh, sort of a uh, double-edged sword a little bit. Obviously, they don't get the psychic buffs, but they also don't get the psychic negatives. Gay and slothful. Um, slothful, very, very bad. They're also only 18, so they don't have an adulthood yet, which will help buff up their stats and also give them something else in terms of um, jobs that they dislike and things like that. Jobs that they're able to do, more importantly. Let's go rescue them, patch them up, and get the hell out of here. And uh, unfortunately, it will take a little bit longer than the time it took to get here because I forgot to bring a mount for spears. All right, um, you guys might as well come off of that. Uh, it, is he okay? Does he need patching up? Health? Uh, just bruised. Okay, well, you could still actually, like, try and patch up. Oh, shit, I didn't remember this. Okay, so we actually need to place a bed for them. Otherwise, what about, like, a bed roll? Does that work? But like a sleeping area. Does that work? Let's try that. Okay, so rescue. Re rescue. There we go. Oh, sleeping areas actually work. So all that time, I... Everqueen spoke badly of Dis's body. That's just very, very rude, isn't it? All right, so when this person can walk, we are going to leave immediately. How long will that be? 7 out of 30. Okay, shit. They're going to be here for ages then. Let's build a very brief, basic structure um, in the sort of vain hopes that it will keep us alive for a few days. Let's chop some wood to start off with. Do you have anywhere to fish from? No, but we do have some freshly killed deer, which might not be too bad. So go structure. Let's go. Oh, shit. Hang on. We need to actually order them to chop some wood first, don't we? All right. Get to it, team. All right. So structure. And then we go uh, wooden wall. We don't want it too big, but we don't want it too small either because we found out last time that sort of screwed us a little bit. So we'll have it sort of this large. That's probably way too big for what we need it for and the amount of time that we're actually going to need it for as well. But it should be okay, I think. And we'll wood over that as well. 
We'll put down some more sleeping spots so these guys can actually try and sleep somewhere a little bit okay. Um, we could even build wooden beds eventually if we get enough wood. Oh, we're going to have more than enough wood. Damn, this won't. You're such a fast worker. Holy shit, we basically just put up a house in no time whatsoever. Now, I am a little bit ill today, so you're going to have to excuse me if I... Um, if my commentary is shit. Although, that's normally the case. So don't worry about it too much. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's cancel that. Let, let's uh, deconstruct those. Let's actually go for straight up beds instead. Because we've got way more wood than I intended to build here. Let's go beds. Uh, One, two, three, four. There we go. That will do. And we'll build some dressers just for the extra comfort. Maybe some end tables too. Because we're going to have plenty of wood left over. What do we need? We need a campfire. So that is under temperature here. We need a campfire there specifically so that we can cook on. And then we're also going to need a butcher's table. I've learned so much from these, these little outings that we've done. Um, that's good. Right. Uh, let's get one more floor down there as well. So, wood floor. Boom. Do we have a decent cook? I don't think we do, do we? I don't think we have a decent cook at all. Um, can anybody cook? No, they can't. Oh my god, they actually can't. Unbelievable. Okay, then. Spears is in bed. They are healing up. They are happy. Right. Um, we've got... Okay, we do need a little bit more wood than I thought then. My mistake. You know what? Understandable. There we go. And we're going to have ourselves a luxury hotel just while we wait for this guy to actually get back up on his feet without being completely dead. We might even need more wood than that. I think I was a little bit um, underzealous with the wood. That's two beds. Beds are the most important thing. Lopez has gotten food poisoning from... Who's Lopez? Oh, Lopez is our prisoner, right? <laughs> so who the hell is Lopez? Another person that we'll have to recruit in a minute and actually bring them into the arena. Again, Spears and Lopez, or Spears and Oxana, could be our first fighters in the arena there, so that'd be pretty incredible. Let's get this last bed built before nighttime. There we go. Holy shit, and we're going to get the, the dresses built. Supreme comfort for all. Um, is that actually true, though? Are they actually luxuriantly comfortable? I'm resting on clouds of heaven. Hey, you're welcome. That's pretty incredible. Okay, team, let's just kick past this nighttime. How's everyone doing in the main base? Jerry King, my good friend. Gonna beat out some fire that started. God knows how that started then. Is he not still a night owl? Why are you awake during the... Should you not be awake during the daytime? Oh no, wait, that was last Jerry King. My mistake. Sorry, I'm getting confused. The one time I remember is the one time he's dead, which seems pretty appropriate. Um, yeah, don't worry about the fires. The fires... No, 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 look. Okay, let, let's go ahead and clear this home zone. Otherwise, they're gonna keep getting up and trying to put out fires where it really is irrelevant. Uh, we'll go for that, and then we'll go for that. That should be a little bit better there. Excellent. No, no, no. Look, you can go back to bed. No. Look, it's... look you know what? Leave it to it. Let's punish her for her sins. All right, Spears. How long until you can get up, my friend? Um, moving. Very poor, but not too bad. 13 out of 30, 12 out of 30. So we're about halfway there before we can actually leave and go home. Actually, can you get up? Oh, they can get up. Fuck it, then. Let's leave. All right, team. Um, We are going to go... World. We're going to click on our boys and actually send them home because this is kind of not worth it otherwise. Uh, reform caravan. Let's send the whole team, naturally. Uh, all the animals, naturally. 8.5 tiles a day. So our, our movement speed is actually massively, massively reduced there. Days of food, none. We've got two meals, 14 lots of berries. They can uh, sort of forage on the way back, so it doesn't matter too much. I was going to set them to the forest there. I'm glad I didn't. And let's go. I think that should be okay. They should immediately start... Um, they should gather forage on the way back, right? Forage per day, 41.9. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I don't, I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Moving 10 tiles a day. Excellent. Right. They are on the way home, I assume, right now. Are we actually... Yep, we are moving. Sweet. So estimated time to destination, 1.3 days. Nice. Okay, then, Jerry King, what's your plan right now, my friend? He's going to milk a dromedary. Now, what are we really doing right now besides that? Suppose we just need more steel to be able to work on the, the deep mines and stuff. So... Let's finish the walls, because as we discussed, and as one of you point out in the comments, that sappers can get through three, uh, two block thick walls. We need three block thick. Uh, let me just make sure. So that's three blocks thick there. That is three blocks thick there. Should we, so we should be okay, relatively. I don't think there's too much to worry about in this scenario in terms of defenses. Um, what have I forgotten to do? I don't think anything. I think we're okay. Okay, Oxana, what is your... Oh, shit. This is caravan met peacefully with the caravan from Colin Quab. Yeah, that one. Um, trade or attack them. I didn't know this was possible. That's kind of cool, though. Let's just move on. We're not going to worry about them too much. Let's bring them home. She's our researcher, though, isn't she? I, I completely forgot how good at research she is. She I, I really hope she doesn't die in the arena, to be completely honest with you. So let's actually see what we need for... I assume we've got deep drilling, haven't we? Uh, deep drilling. Yeah, we've already got that. Now, another thing added by the industrialization mod is nuclear power. So you use uranium as a fuel there to obviously uh, power things up. Probably not a bad idea. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea at all. Now, we do have deep drilling, don't we? Uh, where is that? 
Yeah, we do have deep drilling already uh, researched there. I'm going to add nuclear power onto the list. And that's something I think maybe for next episode. Because we're not going to get it done this time. All you need for that is concrete. So there are... Oh, shit. So before that, we're actually going to need concrete production. There it is. Um, let's put that on the list. And then go nuclear power. Which is here. Put that one on the list as well. We'll just leave her to it. And hopefully she can get that done in no time at all. How are we doing? Elrang, Everqueen. Oh, they're almost home. Won't be long. Nice. Okay, well now I have to edit this video anyway. Because... Of reasons. Let's get back to the caravan. So what's happening? They're almost home. Uh, three days. Or 0 0.3 days. That's pretty good. Hey, we might actually finish this wall before the end of the episode. Oh, I'm exhausted now. Alright, what's happening? So, Jerry King. My good friend. Jerry King is playing horseshoes. Seriously. 7 o'clock PM. Okay, you know what? I think that's fair in hindsight. I was about to say, is it not time to work? But I think he's alright. We've got beds free for our new colonists. Let me just do a headcount here. So him and Tamara together, aren't they? Uh, um... Where is it? Social. Lover is apparently Ferdinand, Jerry King, Powell. Yeah, so tomorrow and Jerry King share a bed. Aaron has a bed, Everqueen has a bed, Dizwani has a bed. So Oxide and Spears are going to need a bed each. So this is for Spears. We actually do need to get these sewage systems sorted. Otherwise, they're going to complain and have to use this room down here. We'll recruit Lopez as well. Then our colony of four, or was three at one point, has gone up to a colony of eight. This is so good. This is much, much better. Starvation? Oh, she's starving. Shit. Out of food, mount <laughs> nutrition, trivial, back in one day though, so they should be back any second now. Then, my friends, we are good to go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, guys, I've changed, I've changed my mind. I want you to all go to somewhere else in Yoshi's Joy Grove. Right, they are back then, are they? Yes, awesome. Next time, note to self, hey, take enough mounts for everybody you're going to be rescuing and stuff. Uh, Bobby B, uh, nobody's riding Bobby B because apparently they don't like him. Prince Rhino. Thank you for staying guard of this lovely, lovely base. Everyone's home. Thank God for that. Right. Everyone's got a bedroom. We've got eight colonists. And that means I need to deal with their schedules very, very briefly. So let's see what we've got then. So we'll copy that into there. Because that's a pretty decent schedule. So the issue with Wimworld is if they sleep, if you set them too long to sleep and they can't do anything or if they're, if they're full of rest, they'll just stand up and do anything they want anyway. So you might as well mark the last few hours um, sort of in the early morning with anything. So that way they could at least work. They could do recreation. They could do, you know, anything. So we've got most of theirs working. Then, of course, we've got anything there so they can finish the jobs they're doing ready in advance to go and do some recreation. Um, somebody needs to come and recruit Lopez here. So let's go prisoner. Let's go uh, reduce resistance. Recruitment difficulty 42% because he has 16 resistance remaining. When we get rid of that, he'll be much, much easier to re uh, recruit there. And I think that's down to Diz Waltney, isn't it? Let's just take a look. Warden. Um, Diz Waltney is incredible. So we're actually going to stop you from doing that because obviously she is a pretty decent researcher. So we'll get her to do that instead. So this person can't quarry. Or they can quarry, but they're not very good in it. So I'm going to do that just because it's not a dangerous job. If they can't do that, I'll have them growing. Um, delivering resources to construction. Actually, no, we don't want them to do that because they'll waste it. Um, hauling? We can have them haul. That's not a bad plan. So if they can't quarry, they'll haul. And if they can't, then they'll just do basically anything. They're not particularly good at anything, are they? Um, he's just scared. That's his job. Scared. I like that. Um, Spears commented about fat people to Diz Waltney. Be careful what you say about Jerry King. To be fair, though, I think he's supposed to be um, more of a buff guy now than a fat guy. Why has Diz Waltney been relegated into here? No, you know what? Get out. Uh, that is for Diz Waltney. He deserves one of the main beds. And we're going to honor Science Spears, who definitely does not deserve that. And you get to go into Waltney World, the world's happiest magical kingdom. Uh, Spears, a sign. There we go. Okay. So now Diz Waltney's obviously back in the main house. We probably should spruce up Waltney World a little bit just with whatever we can. So um, sort of recreation, entertainment, that type of thing. So let's go furniture. Uh, let's go ahead and make them a lovely couch. Now, I've not really made any corner couches before. So this might not work or it might work great. So let's go like, um, let's go like this. Let's put the left one, although that doesn't really make much sense there. And we're going to sort of create a false wall using the couch here. There we go. That's quite nice. Go for some centers and then a right hand side. That looks pretty good. And then obviously we'll have ourselves a nice little TV too. So that's under recreation. And like I said, we're only going to include the most important things this episode. For example, uh, building a TV in Waltney World. There we go. They can gather around that. A dartboard as well. Maybe next to it. That doesn't seem so bad to me. And actually that fits in perfectly there. Nice work. What do we want uh, down the back here? We could always have, uh, say, a billiards table or something like that just behind the sofa so they've got access to it. I'm actually going to put that there because that seems all right to me. Um, what else do they want? They need a table to eat, eat food on. So down here could be the kitchen. So what we'll do then, 
Um, we will go production. We'll go electric stove. Now, I'm going to forbid this because we don't want to waste the last of our resources on creating an uh, electric stove in Disney World, which is really not necessary. We'll give them a refrigerator as well, sort of over here. And then, can we make counters? Furniture? Uh, counters! Hey, look at that. Exactly what I was after. Nice. Okay, so we'll short, sort of do that for them there. And then we'll build them a nice little breakfast bar across as well. Can they sit at these? Um, so if they count as tables, we could just give them, like, chairs along here. You know, Walt World's going to look fucking fantastic when I'm done with it. I, I, honestly, it's genuinely going to look so nice. Um, that's pretty good. I like that. That's off to a good start. Now, we've got room here for maybe, like, a rug or a something. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it probably couldn't hurt, actually, then, to get... If we go to Miss Gear... Wait. Mats. Why can't we build doormats anymore? Build copy. There we go. Okay. Um, Panther fur doormat. Now, ideally, if we could build that out of literally anything else whatsoever. Where are the... Where are the mats? Am I going crazy? Floors, maybe? More floors? No. Um, leave that one with me. I'll find them later on. Um, okay, let's forbid the TV as well. That's a good plan. We'll forbid the refrigerator, forbid the TV, because we don't want to waste any of our steel on this province over here. Oh my god, we've got a baby dromedary. Wow. The brilliant program worked perfectly. We've got ourselves a tiny boy there. Dromedary calf one. You know what? I am going to train it up. We want at least eight animals around. Uh, seven animals around. So that our colonists can always have something to ride there. And although we've, we've almost filled that bill... Keeping them around, not selling them or, or anything like that would be very, very helpful just to keep things going there. 16 to 14.2, not a great start, but better than nothing. And this is going to, of course, be Elrang's Genetic Manipulation Lab, which maybe we can get set up by the end of the episode. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look, Jerry King. You are apparently training the camel. Now, I don't like the way the animals keep going into Walking World. Can you, hey, fuck off. Um, zone. Uh, expand allowed areas. Oh, we want to clear allowed areas. Animals. Stop them going in Walking World. Stop them going in the storage shed for one anymore, but they can go basically anywhere else. I don't really mind. Nice. I'm so excited for this war to be finished, because so we can focus basically all of our efforts on something completely different. What's Elrang doing right now? That's a good point. We need to give him a new job, because he really can't do much else. So, construction... Construction? Constructing? Definitely up there, in my opinion. We, he's, uh, he's a pretty decent builder, actually. 11 out of 20. That's much, much better than I expected. Um, if you can't build, quarry. If you can't quarry, mine. You know what I might do with Elrang? I might have him work on this quarry by himself. I honestly think that's not too much of a bad idea. Now let's go ahead and deconstruct the um, the prosthetics workbench. Just to try and get back enough steel to be able to build up this quarry. If we can build up this quarry, we can have Elrang quarrying resources from it by himself. Because you can actually dedicate particular people to work on quarries with the set owner option. That's going to give us enough steel to do so. Oh my god, it's going to give us more than enough steel. Elrang, my friend. Prioritize working on this quarry, my lovely boy. Okay, watch this. Ready? Oh, it's going to take absolutely ages. Okay, please, please stand by. <clears throat> Shall I edit this out? <laughs> He's done it. Elrang, owner, Elrang, mini quarry, quarrying resources, and I've gone ahead and set it so that quarry is his maximum priority beyond all else. Um, where's he going now, though? Oh, he's going to go eat some food. That seems understandable. And have the rest of the day off. So nice. We're actually going to be able to continue getting resources from now on, which I feel like is probably... Um, something I should have done much, much earlier. Now, it's only a mini quarry, so it's not going to give as many resources as the larger quarry. It's also not going to last as long. But if only one person's working on it, that doesn't matter too much either. We finished sewage treatment. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at that then. Um, where is that? Like, hygiene? Slowly clean sewage over time. Sewage is directed to treatment plants first, uh, where 90% is removed, then the remaining 10% is sent to sewage outlets. If it reaches full capacity, then the excess sewage is sent directly to outlets. Um... Right, okay, uh, but we're surviving with just a septic tank, though. Uh, treating? So, so why is that better than a septic tank at all? Could we not just build lots of those? Because if that's at least going to output to um, sort of a waste pipe, then there's not much point, right? Or am I missing something? Anyway, it doesn't matter too much because we're not going to be building one yet. The septic tank can more than deal with what we're providing it there. So, as you can see, it's treating 50 litres a day and it's only got 23 litres in there. Are they going to make another... 25 liters of shit in one day well maybe not but un unless they comment on the youtube comment section of course at which point we might need actually way more septic tanks than that all the animals are sleeping outside including the young dromedary so D dromedary that's a new one dromedary um do we have beds for all the animals i don't think it really makes any difference in terms of gameplay but it's just kind of nice to have though isn't it uh we've got one two three four five six and we've got one two three four five beds okay let's build another one then for one of our lovely aminals there how are we going, Arang? Can you please wake up? Because I want to make sure this works properly before I let things carry on unattended. Still trying to train the elephant. That thing is taking absolutely ages to train. It's really cut into Arang's schedule as well. What's, what's he doing? Training dog. Okay, he's training the calf again. 
A group of outlanders from the communal confederacy of Quaybron have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. Holy ra. Okay, that's five people. Um, so they're going to be coming through, obviously, the kill box. Uh, or, or I should say, the um, Death Valley is probably more an appropriate term. So let's get Dizwalny and Elrang with their good weaponry stood relatively close. Let's get the Everqueen with her crack shot stood, um, what do you think, like behind this tree? Jerry King, you have a gun as well. Uh, you can come and stand behind this tree. Tomorrow, you have a gun as well. So let's get you, um, I honestly don't really know. Maybe behind there. We want them spread out at least somewhat. And these two actually need weapons before they're going to be any use to us. So let's get uh, Spears. Take this pistol. Uh, Oxana, take... Hmm, revolver? A normal revolver is probably better than a poor pistol. So we'll see how this goes. This may be really, really bad. You know what? I'd honestly not be surprised if we lost at least one colonist during this warfare. Um, let's move you around there. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't really like her being stood there. But unfortunately, there's not really anywhere else we can put her. The Ever Queen's got quite a long range rifle, so instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put her, um, I'm going to put her there, tomorrow there, so everyone's behind some form of cover. Then we've just got to wait for these two. Marriage is on. Jerry King proposed marriage to tomorrow. Was that sort of like one of those romantic final stammers? They're like, this is our final hours tomorrow. Let's get married. Okay, I appreciate that. That's kind of a nice story. Oksana, you have a weapon, so let's bring you up to, uh, God, there's really not much cover at all, is there? Uh, let's get you behind, sort of, here. I don't think you'll be able to hit anyone from there, but we can give it a go. Right. Equipping auto pistol. Oh, shit. We're already opening fire. He's got an assault rifle. He's got, like, an M4, by the looks of it. So be careful, team. Oh, one's dead. We actually haven't... Oh, my God. Two are dead, and we haven't been hit by a single one yet. That guy had a smoke pop belt, which is going to make him much, much harder to hit temporarily. Oh, shit. Jerry King. Oh, my God. He's been hit twice in about 30 seconds. Okay, team. What we need to do is all focus fire on that guy there. And if we could take him out, chances are they'll flee because they've lost too many colonists. Let's see how we go. Oh my god, is Jerry King alright? I should probably just keep an eye on him and make sure he's okay. Death in 14 hours. If he gets hit again, oh my god, we're going to have to retreat him out. Okay, Spears, uh, your job, my friend, is to just be the body rescuer. Please, we can't lose Jerry King again, no. Okay, Ryan's been hit a few times again. I think if we can kill this dude, they'll probably retreat, but we're not a very good shot. Um, it, can the Everqueen hit him from there? She can, but we're just, again, not doing very well. Oh, Diz Walton is absolutely peppering the man, though. Shit, Jerry King is probably going to die unless... Spears, hurry up, for fuck's sake. Get him out of there. Okay, full retreat. They're fleeing. Whew. Okay, that did work as we intended. We haven't lost anybody yet. Everqueen took a shot to the right arm. Death in 22 hours, so she's hopefully going to go and get herself tended up. Jerry King is not in a good way at all. So we'll see how that goes. Um, assigned to hunting. So he's freaking out because I've accidentally made him a hunter, eh? Oh, yeah. Whoops. My mistake. Okay, let's let's turn that off. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> it's like nothing ever happened. The assault rifle. Oh, it's a heavy SMG then. That's pretty nice. We've got bolt action rifle as well and an auto pistol. Oh, we also got an excellent quality auto pistol, but I think somebody actually dropped that one then. Um, Tamara, can you haul this gun? Um, Oksana, when you're finished eating at Dizwalter, you haul uh, this bolt action rifle. We'll just pick it up. You go ahead and haul this one as well. Nice. Okay, that's all the guns dealt with. They're already in the dead body zone, but Everqueen will do deal with that in a second. She's got to uh, patch herself up and Jerry King first. So she's okay. Shit, Jerry King. Fuck, death in four hours. He's really not looking good. And chances are he's going to get an infection from this and might even drop down dead and there's nothing we can do about it. I probably should have retreated him out when he was looking in such a bad way. That's my own mistake there. Blood loss moderate. Okay, he might not be too bad. How are we looking? Okay, good treatment on a lot of them, though. Oh, shit. And then we just short-circuited somewhere in the house. She's got bed rest. He's got bed rest. We might be okay. Emphasis on might. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing it, but we could be okay here. The other queen is definitely going to be fine, because she only got hit in the right arm there, and she's already patched it up. My God, keep a close eye on Jerry King, because we might lose Jerry King volume two. Sana has contracted diarrhea from dirty water and not washing their hands. Um... We've got water treatment though, right? Wind, water... Oh shit, we're still not treating the water? My god, how did I ignore that? Water treatment. Oh no, we are treating the water, it's there. So she was just being an unhygienic little shit then. Well, that's her own fault. That's, that's nothing to do with me. Power showers. Now, I think what power showers do mean that um, they can heat themselves. We don't actually need to have these boilers kicking around anymore, which is absolutely something we'll do. Uh, heats water on demand and doubles washing speed. Those seem incredible. So let's dismantle the boilers, because we don't need them. We don't need hot water to flush our toilets, and this is the only other thing we... We're doing with water in the base. That's where a shit ton of our steel has gone to as well. So getting these gone. Oh, look at that. That's so much better. So let's go ahead and replace those as well. And you know what? We can probably get the ones built up in uh, in here. So I'm going to go ahead and re-allow these. 
I'll cancel the bathtubs for now and we'll just put power showers there instead because apparently they're also quicker, which sounds like a pretty decent idea to me. Uh, it's just a very quick, easy way of obviously getting their uh, mood up quickly. So we go for steel power showers. All right, um, we'll build just the ones in the colonist bedroom for now because we don't really have the resources to be uh, fucking around beyond that. Let's actually put that one the right way around. That's awful. Build copy. All right, head on the wall. And, uh, oh, is it the end of the day? Let's not worry about it then. Good work, team. I have to leave this one here today, unfortunately, because I am on a very, very tight schedule today. And it's rare that I have to do this, but I apologize. We've got a lot done, though. We've actually managed to get a lot more colonists here. We survived yet another raid. The walls are almost finished. We've got a decent way to get resources. A shorter video, but arguably a much more productive one. Shout out to all the patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vandos, Josh Lindine Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspire C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Women for their support at the highest Patreon tiers. And of course, shout out to all of the other patrons, including the following Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Wintoniak, Necrofilm, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noblesse, Quet Lachley, Zara Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Little King, Llewellyn Thomas, Dior and DeVries, Euphrates, Duncan 217, Jordan Campbell, Asra, and Sidini. Thank you all for your support. Why are we cut this one early? Because we've got to do an early live stream today. So, you can come and join us there, but I think this video will be uploaded after that's over, so ignore it. But we're playing Lux Invictus, so that might be fun.